Um, well, thank you all. It's, it's, and I've got a huge, a whole page in the small print of people to thank. And I'm trying to make that entertaining. But, <laughs> but I, I, like, I do need to say that I went to the Pataka Craft Fair today and I bought this necklace, which is a local artist who um, is using images of our early suffragists in her work. And it really reminded me about this process and what a privilege it is for me to be able to stand up and say and try and say what we all want for the future of this country. Like for a woman to be able to stand in that tradition of those radical, radical women who have come before feels amazing. And I'm really thankful for all of you, for those women, and for all of you to give me the chance to try and represent you and our shared vision for how this country could be so much better yeah. than what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> it really could. And um, that's one of the things I've taken away from this. We may not have got the numbers and the votes, but I think there is increasing support that we're going to be able to draw on later. Because what we're standing for, and I, you know, I'm feeling like I'm back on the platform, <laughs> but it is answers to the problems that we have that are good for community, good for the economy, and good for the environment. And we need solutions that work for all three things. And it, it drives me nuts that national, and I'm just going to flag them off for a second. <laughs> All right. They're seen as the economic rationalists, and even in their own terms, their economic policy sucks. <laughs> better. You know, like, we have answers in terms of inequality that will create jobs, will create health and well-being, and be good for the economy, that we can fund really easily. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We've just got to get to that point, and I believe we're really almost there of translating our policies into votes, <laughs> our support into votes. I think we're really, really close. And I just feel extraordinarily lucky to have had this team of all of us working together to take us one more step towards getting that change in this country. Because, damn it, we need it. We really, really do. The inequality is increasing and the environment's being undermined and our economy sucks. And, <laughs> you know, we're the ones with the answers and we are going to get people there eventually. And this is a great step along the way. Okay. So now into the very long list, which I'm going to enjoy reading out because it represents probably thousands of hours of work and extraordinary skill and love from a whole lot of people that I feel really privileged to have been the face of. So it would be nice if people who I acknowledge can kind of shake their hands and we all acknowledge them because, you know, I'm the face, but that we're all the heart. <laughs> Together, eh? Because the green love and run. Love, not money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so first of all, obviously has to be James. So it was an extraordinary effort in terms of pulling this campaign together and I had no, had no idea how much exactly was involved in the campaign <laughs> in terms of the detail and you've done an exceptional job of just making sure it all went like clockwork. Yeah. yeah. And this is in absolutely no particular order. I could pretend to be like the chair of the Pukurua Bay Residents Association <laughs> meeting and say it's an alphabetical order and now go to a T and then back to a J. <laughs> 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 Alright, so um, is Tara, who came up from Nelson, who gave us two weeks of her time and organised our trial canvassing around the two Porirua um, election booths that we're now going to see if, whether that made a difference in terms of our vote and I'm really hoping it does because those communities are just so much fun to campaign in because people are really interested and really lovely 
So I've got my fingers close to that one. Um, and also helped with the kind of the getting out the vote. And then Jack. Da -da -da, I know you're here. Yeah. yeah. team and provided us with very good um, advice in terms of the transport and the anti-motorway because he's part of the local organisation, Alliance for Sustainable Carbody, opposing the motorway, which is a fundamental core issue that this community is grappling with. So, yeah. yeah. And also, you know, I should say that just the future. An extraordinary, extraordinary person. All right, and um, Thomas. was a constant source of humour. <laughs> and do you want to break into a stand-up comedy routine now? No, no, no. no. Are you sure? Are you saving that? Yeah, no, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't help himself usually, so I'm not sure what happened. Um, and Wilbur? Yeah, Wilbur. <laughs> and there's a bromance going on between Thomas and Wilbur, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Kept us very entertained in our campaign music. I love you, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> and Wilbur provided us with good, I think, savvy political advice and has done our digital online organising and was a fantastic support at some of our day events where we went round the fairs together, which was brilliant. Was hey. <laughs> and Lisa? <laughs> filling in for the tasks that we've needed and just been sending out emails and filling the gaps and doing an extraordinary job and filling in the gaps itself when we haven't had the people and the scrutineering today. Just a lot of love. Thank you. And then the first part of the core campaign team is Moira. Moira, where's Moira? Yeah. And we're doing our billboards as well as Unite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so Moira and Connor did our, had developed a block system to enable us to leaflet 35,000 leaflets across the That have been promoting our messages of reducing inequality, having fast, reliable and affordable public transport and cleaning up our waterways to create jobs and a haven for people and wildlife. Mm. You know, core messages that now 35,000 people have either thrown in the rubbish <laughs> <laughs> and created more waste or hopefully rent. So yay, thanks, heaps, both of you. be here tonight because he's got a gig. Um, the support comms, being my advisor in terms of developing the radio ad and for his general campaign. <laughs> and then Michael Gilchrist who also had a family okay. event. Yeah. Michael's in there. Yeah. Okay. Who um, I think really needs a special acknowledgement for having been the candidate here and creating with the campaign team a platform that has enabled us to work from. And he does a lot of respect out there. So I think for all of us, you know, he's an amazing part of the team and has offered a lot and organised all that advertising. And then Lindy, yeah. who can't be here because she's in Tasmania, which she's been reminding us for ages. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell her I said that. Um, but that she's been providing us with comms advice. She knows this community from having been a regional councillor, which I know this community feels a huge loss for her no longer being able to put yeah. up with how much it sucks being on council. Yeah. <laughs> um, for that lack of that voice that she's so bloody informed. Um, and for exceptional advice and getting us in in terms of the forums around education, which has been a key part of this campaign in terms of opposing national standards and the cuts to early childhood education. So we've got amazing people in. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. And um, then Stacey, who's our brass convener. We've organised our time tonight and got them to set up a tour of the brass. So, yeah. Did you say? Yeah, which is pretty incredible. And has been on hand for crises, the calm voice and house and food. And um, has also done loads of leafleting and given me calm and I